Uh, have you ever wondered why unfinished tasks tend to linger in your mind longer than the ones you've completed? This intriguing phenomenon is a hidden gem in the world of user experience, or UX, as it is commonly known. User experience is the art and science of making digital platforms not only functional, but also enjoyable. It's the subtle magic that makes you feel at home while navigating your favorite app or website. In this vast landscape of UX, there's a unique psychological principle known as the Zygonik effect, named after the Russian psychologist Bloomer Zygonik. This effect, in its simplest form, explains why we remember uncompleted or interrupted tasks better than completed ones. It's a powerful tool that UX designers harness to create engaging and memorable digital experiences. So are you ready to uncover this hidden gem? Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of the Zygonik effect in UX design. So, what exactly is the Zygonik effect? And why does it matter in UX design? Well, let's dive right in. The Zygonik effect is a psychological principle named after Bluma Zygonik, a Soviet psychologist who, in the 1920s, discovered an interesting phenomenon. We tend to remember incomplete or interrupted tasks better than completed ones. Picture this. You're in the middle of a gripping novel and you're forced to stop reading. That unfinished chapter, those unresolved plot twists, they stick with you, don't they? Now, how does this play into the realm of user experience or UX design? The Zygonik effect is a cognitive bias that UX designers can leverage to increase user engagement and retention. It's all about creating an experience that keeps users coming back for more. Think about your favorite video game or app. Chances are there's an element of incompletion or progress that keeps you hooked. That's the Zygonik effect in action. But it's not just about creating addictive experiences. The Zygonic effect can also be used to guide users through complex processes or workflows by breaking down tasks into smaller, manageable chunks and providing clear progress indicators. We can create a sense of incompletion that motivates users to follow through. It's like leaving breadcrumbs for Hansel and Gretel, guiding them through the forest of your user interface. Furthermore, the Zygonic effect can also be used to enhance learning and recall. By introducing periodic interruptions or knowledge gaps in educational content, we can stimulate curiosity and enhance retention. It's a bit like the cliffhanger at the end of a TV episode. It keeps you thinking, questioning, and most importantly, remembering. And remember, the Zygonik effect isn't just applicable to digital interfaces, it's a fundamental aspect of human cognition that influences our behavior in all aspects of life, from the books we read to the tasks we perform at work. With this understanding, you might wonder how this effect takes shape in real-life scenarios. And that, my friends, is what we're going to explore next, so stay tuned! Let's examine a case study that highlights the impact of the Zygonic effect in UX design. Consider this, a popular online learning platform, let's call it LearnNet. This platform offers a wide array of courses in various disciplines. To make the learning process more engaging, LearnNet decided to incorporate elements of the Zygonic effect into their UX design. The team at LearnNet knew that the Zygonic effect named after psychologist Bluma Zygonic posits that people remember unfinished tasks better than finished ones. So they sought to create an environment that would keep learners' tasks perpetually unfinished, thus keeping them engaged and coming back for more. To accomplish this, LearnNet introduced progress bars for each course. As learners progressed through the course, the progress bar would gradually fill up, visually indicating how far they'd come and how much was left. However, the progress bar was designed never to reach full completion, even after the course was finished. Instead, it would prompt users to take an additional quiz or view related courses, creating a sense of incompletion. This subtle design element had a significant impact on user behavior. Learners were more likely to return to the platform, driven by the subconscious desire to complete their progress bars. The platform noticed an increase in return visits, 
longer session durations, and higher course completion rates. Another way LearnNet used the Zygonic effect was through the use of notifications. Learners would receive reminders about unfinished courses or quizzes, further reinforcing the sense of incompletion. These alerts served as mental nudges, triggering learners to return to the platform to finish what they started. In addition, the platform also used the Zygonic effect in its course recommendation system. After completing a course, learners would be shown a list of related but unfinished courses. This created a sense of curiosity and a desire to explore more, once again leveraging the Zygonic effect to boost user engagement. The impact of these design elements was remarkable. LearnNet observed a significant increase in user engagement metrics. The average session duration increased, the bounce rate decreased, and the course completion rate went up. This case study shows how a deep understanding of the human psyche combined with thoughtful UX design can significantly enhance user engagement. The Zygonic effect was not just a theoretical concept for LearnNet, but a practical tool they effectively leveraged to improve their platform. Clearly, the Zygonic effect has a powerful influence on user engagement, but what are the key takeaways? We have seen the Zygonic effect in action, but what are the main points to remember? Let's recap the key takeaways we've gleaned about this fascinating concept. Firstly, the Zygonic effect is a psychological phenomenon that asserts unfinished tasks are more likely to get stuck in our memory. In the realm of user experience design, this principle can be a powerful tool for creating engagement and boosting recall. By leaving certain tasks or information loops incomplete, we can pique user curiosity and encourage them to engage further with our interface. Secondly, the Zygonic effect isn't just about memory, it's about motivation too. When we start a task, our brain is wired to see it through to completion. This means that in UX design, introducing progressive tasks or elements of gamification can effectively leverage the Zygonic effect. By providing users with tasks that they can start but not immediately finish, we tap into their natural desire to complete the task and thus enhance their engagement. Thirdly, the Zygonic effect can also help in improving the user's recall of your platform or product. An interface that incorporates the principles of the Zygonic effect can result in a more memorable user experience. This could be through the use of notifications reminding users of unfinished tasks or the clever use of breadcrumbs to guide users back to incomplete actions. Finally, while the Zygonic effect is a powerful tool, it's important to strike a balance. Overuse can lead to user frustration or cognitive overload. The key is to use it subtly and strategically, and always with the user's needs and preferences in mind. In conclusion, the Zygonic effect can be a potent ally in crafting compelling and memorable user experiences. It's a prime example of how cognitive psychology can help us understand user behavior and design more effective interfaces. As we can see, cognitive psychology and UX design are closely intertwined, each influencing the other in significant ways. So, how can you apply the Zygonic effect in your UX designs? Well, let's dive into some practical tips and guidelines to effectively implement the Zygonic effect. First and foremost, it's crucial to understand that the Zygonic effect is all about creating an engaging user experience that leaves the user wanting more. One way to achieve this is by creating an incomplete or interrupted user journey. This can be done by adding progress bars, step-by-step -step guides, or cliffhanger endings to your content. These elements can stimulate the user's curiosity and keep them engaged, as they would want to complete the journey and resolve the tension created by the incomplete task. Another key aspect is to ensure that the user is not overwhelmed. It's a delicate balance. Too much information or too many tasks can lead to user fatigue and could potentially drive them away. So, it's essential to strike a balance between user engagement and user overload. You can achieve this balance by using intuitive design elements that guide the user smoothly through the tasks. Break down complex tasks into simpler, manageable steps. Use visual cues like color, 
contrast and hierarchy to guide the user's attention and make the tasks seem less daunting. Also, give users the freedom to control their journey. Let them choose when to start and complete tasks. Let's not forget about feedback. Providing immediate, clear and constructive feedback can also enhance user engagement. Feedback lets users know where they stand in the task completion process, which can motivate them to continue. Lastly, always remember that the Zigonic effect is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It may not work for every user or every type of task. So, it's important to test, adjust, and tailor your design to meet the needs and preferences of your specific user base. Remember, understanding and applying the Zygonic effect can be a game changer in your UX design journey. So keep exploring, keep learning, and above all, keep designing.